just a shout. Welcome to the KK Pressy TV. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. We do doll videos, Roblox, baking, and vlogs. We also do short films such as the story of Crazy Face, and we also do Talking Hot Show Challenge. A special thank you to Blue Blood Sports TV. Thank you so much for your support. We will continue to work hard and bring you more content. Bye! Show support. Subscribe to KK Penson TV. If you got children, if you got nieces, if you got nephews, if you got little cousins, if you have friends that have kids, make sure they subscribe to KK Penson TV. Please do that. Show love and show support. Hey, this is Cassie, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood. TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, former Olympian, former four division world champion, superstar, legendary boxer, the only boxer in the history of the sport of boxing to go from junior middleweight, 154 pounds, all the way up to heavyweight and win a world title. Roy Jones Jr. had an interesting take on a young crop of rising superstar boxers in the lightweight division. Teofimo Lopez, undefeated IBF, lightweight superstar world champion boxer. Undefeated WBC, lightweight world champion boxer, Devin the Dream Haney. Two division world champion, currently WBA lightweight world champion, Javante Tank Davis, and three division world champion, unified lightweight world champion, superstar boxer Vasil High Tech Lomachenko. He had an interesting take on who he thinks the best of the, out of the group is. And he believes that after Teofimo Lopez defeats Vasil Lomachenko, because he's picking Teofimo Lopez to be victorious over Lomachenko. He says not only will he be the best out of the crop of lightweight fighters, not only will he be the best out of the crop of lightweight fighters, but he pegs him at number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And he says that he believes Teofimo Lopez is going to defeat Jafonte Tank Davis as well. He said that Javante Tank Davis is going to have to learn how to box to beat either Teofimo Lopez or Devin Haney. He says that uh, his style, that Mike Tyson style, will not work against um, guys like Devin Haney and Teofimo Lopez. He likened Javante Tank Davis style to that of, you know, um, Mike Tyson, right? He says that that's a, um, he says that you know, it's an exciting style. He loves to watch it, but he don't know how successful it'll be against a Devin Haney or a Teofimo Lopez. And actually he said he don't believe he will be successful. He have to learn how to box. Um, he says that he fights one-sided. Uh, he only shows one side, whether he can box or he can't. He only shows us, he only knows what he shows us. And he only shows us that he's an explosive power puncher um, that you know, relies on his power and his left hand. He's a southpaw. So he says that he don't believe so. He believes that Teofimo Lopez is going to beat Vasil Lomachenko. As I've been saying, I myself have been saying that I think that Teofimo Lopez is going to knock out Vasil Lomachenko by the eighth, ninth round, right? I think that uh, Lomachenko, I saw him get hurt against Luke Campbell at least three times in that fight. Luke Campbell don't pack near the punch the explosive power or the athletic ability of a Teofimo Lopez, yet he was able to hurt him three times in their last fight. I saw him get dropped by Jorge Linares, who is a very slick boxer, has fast hands, but yet again, he doesn't have the power or the explosiveness of a Teofimo Lopez, nor the size, right? And uh, we saw him, you know, um, struggle, you know, um, in other fights, the Orlando Salido fight. That was a fight that he lost. You know, uh, ESPN, leave it up to ESPN and they'll tell you he never lost. Right. They'll they'll try to uh, inform you that he's undefeated. And if anybody knows a, a thing or two about the sport of boxing, that's definitely Roy Jones Jr. 
right? So Roy Jones definitely knows the sport of boxing. And um, Roy Jones uh, um, also felt feels as if Teofimo Lopez could be the most versatile, right? Uh, also, too, against Jose Pedraza, we saw Vasil Lomachenko, you know, um, struggle, you know, not look as well as he should have uh, in the Crowler fight. So he has been showing signs of vulnerability, uh, needless to say, that being Vasil Lomachenko against guys who don't possess the uh, tools that Teofimo Lopez possess. So I believe Teofimo Lopez is definitely going to be successful in that fight and win that fight in dramatic fashion and knock out Lomachenko by the eighth, ninth round. Now, do I believe, like Roy Jones, that Teofimo Lopez, after he beats Lomachenko, will be the pound for pound best fighter in the world? No. Until somebody dethrones Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, um, you know, and I don't think that Teofimo Lopez, and this is no slight against him, towards him, but I don't think he could beat Devin Haney. I don't think that Teofimo Lopez would beat Shakur Stevenson once he eventually, and I know people are going to say, well, Shakur Stevenson is a featherweight. Well, I'm saying once he gets into their weight range, I don't think that Teofimo Lopez can beat him. I would love to see Teofimo Lopez, you know, also fight when he says he's going to 140. Guys like Josh Taylor, Adrian Broner, even, you know, um, Maurice Hooker. You know, there's a lot of challenges for Teofimo Lopez. And I can't say that he's the pound for pound best in the world if he beats Lomachenko because I don't have Vasil Lomachenko as pound for pound best fight in the world. And I don't think that Vasil Lomachenko could beat Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, uh, or Teofimo Lopez, right? Um, I don't think that at this point in time in his career, I don't think that Dev uh, Vasil Lomachenko can beat Ryan Garcia. I think Ryan Garcia height, his range and his hand speed with the power that he possessed will give Vasil Lomachenko all types of problems, right? He has a five inch height advantage and he has a distinct arm reach advantage and he has a speed advantage and he has a power advantage. Now he don't have the faster feet, but his size is definitely going to play a major part in that fight. Ryan Garcia, that is. So um, Vasil Lomachenko definitely has the experience and the name, you know, and uh, amateur background. He's a three division world champion, so he's nothing to sneeze at. Absolutely not. I just think that at the age of 32, I just think that, you know, um, it's over for him as far as competing with these guys. He's 65 and a half inch arm reach. Uh, he stands about five foot six. You know, he's not a very tall, not a very big guy. He has really short arms, you know, um, and I think that that would be that's going to be an issue for him. Right. So uh, if Teofimo Lopez beats him, oh, for sure, I'm going to um, uh, uh, place him, you know, in the uh, in the, in the conversation of a top 10 pound for pound fighter, but top but number one or top five. No. Uh you know, Ryan Garcia is 5'10", 71 inch arm reach. So, you know, I, I would favor Ryan Garcia against Vasil Lomachenko. So I can't say that Vasil Lomachenko losing to Teofimo Lopez places Teofimo Lopez as the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. No, he's uh, top 10. I would give him that because he defeated Richard Comey, who was a, a huge uh, um, step up. And then to defeat Vasil Lomachenko, that means that says a lot. But at number one, no, I'm still going with Terrence Crawford. And uh, I'm still going, you know, um, the likes of Errol Spence. And, um, you know, there's just other fighters I just have to place above Teofimo Lopez because I think that Devin Haney will beat Teofimo Lopez. So, but, uh, you know, Roy Jones does know the sport of boxing. And uh, as far as Teofimo Lopez and Javante Tank Davis, that would be a bomb burner because... Uh, I have to disagree with Roy Jones when he says that he would have to learn the box to beat Teofimo Lopez because the foot speed of Teofimo Lopez is not um, quicker than Javante Tank Davis. He's not more educated. So it's about the same. So it's, that's going to come down to Will and whoever lands first, in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to Devin Haney, yes, I believe Javante Tank Davis is going to have to cut the ring off and use this jab to close the distance and be able to box because Devin Haney's going to be able to utilize the rings, faster hands, and just quicker feet. But with Teofimo Lopez, I don't believe that to be the case. So, Javante Tank Davis, Teofimo Lopez, uh, that's a real tough fight to, to, to uh, predict.
So let's see how this all plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D B C. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sports TV, baby. From the Empress, much love.